Okay, the practice continues with dominant reactions. I've kind of given up on using the acid base table. I just can't fit it onto the screen at a readable size. So I'm going to tell you what I think are the strongest acids or bases. Please confirm and follow along with your own data book. And if you disagree about any of them, do let me know. I certainly am capable of reading things wrong. So in this first compound, we have sodium, don't care, sulfite, SO3, 2 minus. That's mixed in with sulfurous acid, not to be confused with sulfuric acid. And we have the usual water. My read is H2SO3 is the strongest acid, and the sulfite is the strongest base, so a reaction will be like this. This gives away a hydrogen and becomes HSO3 minus. And this gains a hydrogen and also becomes HSO3 minus. If you want to erase this and put two HSO3 minus, that's completely fine. This version is also tolerated because it, if you're showing an acid and its conjugate base on this side, it's reasonable to show a conjugate base and a conjugate acid on the other side. So, either of those. Ammonium chloride is made of ammonium and chloride ions and that dissolves in water. So, strongest acid for this is actually ammonium. It's not very strong, but it's the strongest we have. And for strongest base, it's actually H2O. So our reaction here is the ammonium ion meets a water. This gives away a hydrogen, so it converts to ammonia. And the H2O gains a hydrogen and becomes H3O. All right, vinegar is ethanoic acid, which is CH3COOH. It's got the carboxyl group, so this is the hydrogen that'll come off it. And that reacts with spilled lye, which is sodium, don't care, hydroxide. And we have H2O. This is like the only reasonable acid we have, so that will give away hydrogen. And the OH will take a hydrogen. It's the strongest base we have on our list. So this gives away a hydrogen and leaves ethanoate or acetate ion. And OH gains a hydrogen, which turns it into either H2O or HOH, however you want to write it. I'm normally an H2O guy, but in the acid base unit, I do use this a lot more often. It makes balancing easier sometimes and it keeps the base to conjugate acid structure a little more obvious. You don't have to agree. Oh boy, there's a bunch of them. Okay. All right, let's churn through this. Hydrosulfuric acid is H2S. And that reacts with carbonates. This gives away a hydrogen, and we get the hydrogen sulfide ion. And the carbonate picks one up and becomes the hydrogen carbonate ion. Sodium carbonate, ignore the sodium. We have carbonates. And that's reacting with aluminum. Don't care, it's a metal. Hydrogen sulfate, which is HSO. Minus. HSO4 is actually quite a strong, quite high for a weak acid. That will be our strongest acid, or that is my read anyway. And that reacts with carbonate. And we get sulfate ion, and this gains a hydrogen, so HCO3. And don't forget to bump up the charge by one step. Okay, iron, metal, don't care. Cyanide is added to a solution of potassium, metal, don't care. Hydrogen phosphate, which is HPO4 2 minus. HPO4 is a pretty wimpy acid, but it is stronger than water, so that's our strongest acid. 
and cyanide's our strongest base. So from that we will get phosphate ions and hydrocyanic acid. Ammonium is NH4 plus, chloride is chloride, mixed with sodium, metal, don't care, and hydroxide. Okay, so the only acid we have available is ammonium. It isn't much, but it's stronger than water. And hydroxide is there. This gives away a hydrogen and becomes NH3, ammonia. This gains a hydrogen and becomes HOH, or if you write H, H2O, that's reasonable too. Lithium, metal, don't care. Cyanide, there we go, is added to a solution of sodium. You know what I'm going to say. Hydrogen sulfite is HSO3. Minus. So, HSO3 would be our strongest acid. Cyanide is our strongest base. This gives away a hydrogen, so we get sulfite ions. And CN gains one and becomes hydrocyanic acid again. Not too bad. We're going to be doing this for the rest of the units, so this is probably more practice than you needed anyway, but it is a good fundamental skill. We'll start a lot of questions by saying ammonium chloride solution reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate. And then we'll start asking stuff about stoichiometry, about the equilibrium, and you'll need to get a balanced reaction before you can do anything else. We have not been balancing these. We'll get to that presently. But it, it's fundamental to be able to write a Bronsted-Lowry reaction where you've got the hydrogen being given away and accepted and get all of that done correctly. So with that in our toolkit, we will move on to bigger things. See you next time.